Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Fix the World, the show where I attempt to fix what EA has, well, thrown into our game. Um, so today I am in Oasis Springs with a house that I thought was perfectly fine, um, but I wanted to add what we have been wanting or what we have been getting rather from the EA team. So all of the like expansion packs and things like that. That's what this show is really about is taking all this stuff and going back to 2014 and throwing it all in there. Am I right? Got to throw all that good stuff in there. Most of this is parenthood stuff because that's the biggest pack that everybody's been playing with. It, it just doesn't get old, does it? Uh, it's very good. Anyway, today we are doing sort of that like medium house is how I would put it not like you can see spirits but like once you're done with that starter home it's time to move into something that you've earned it's the medium house it's the house with more than one bedroom and one bathroom so this house actually only has one bathroom because I couldn't fit another one in but you can definitely put one in there there's enough room it's just it comes with two bedrooms one bathroom and a like play room for the for the kid for the child for the one child you may have more than one but there's only one playroom so you only there's only one child i'm just kidding um so yeah so this is the house isn't it beautiful you don't know because it's just going through right now um happy happy friday can you believe it's friday i say this every week but i can't believe it's friday because the summer feels like it's flying by it's already it's my grandmother's birthday i just realized that now with you guys I'm going to call her and tell her happy birthday because it's her birthday. Um, it's August 3rd today uh, when I'm recording this, but for you, it's already August 4th. What? Are you is sure? I am is sure. I don't know what that was. Um, anyway, it's Friday, Friday, but it's only really Thursday. But when you're watching this, it's Friday. Also, when you're watching this, I'm off work for three days. It's going to be a three-day weekend. I get off at 12 tomorrow, which is quite nice. It's an early, early day for me. Um, the camp that I'm running only goes till 12, so it's been quite a nice week. Um, well, today was kind of okay. I got that dreaded phone call that everybody hates that people, usually not a lot of people get but I do for some reason. Um, and they call and they're like, oh, hey, you remember that job that you applied for? Yeah, well, we went with someone else. So normally people just don't call you, um, which I get because it avoids the awkwardness of, oh, okay, um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> so I got that call, which kind of sucked. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. I've gotten tons of them at this point. It's just, it's just a phone call, right? nothing but my soul crushing uh anyway i got that call also today something that really really bothered me today and it, it happens with me all the time and anybody who gets their bachelor's of art will know what what i'm about to say you will feel my pain if you are in university and you're going to get a bachelor of arts you will know soon enough what this is okay so the girl that I'm working with is a lovely girl. She's great to work with. Um, however, we were chatting and I was like, uh, I told her about the phone call because I had to take the phone call in the middle of the camp. Um, and then I was talking about like having graduated and all that fun stuff. And she's like, oh, what did you like? What did you go to school for? And I was like, well, I got my Bachelor of Arts in History. And she gave the same response that everybody gives. And I swear if one more person gives this response, I'm going to lose it. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away before I do something I'll regret, but they all say, oh, what can you do with a history degree? In, like, the most condescending tone, like, what can you do with that? Like, what are those kind of thing, except not that dumb, but it is a dumb question, and I, and I am, every time, no matter how many times someone has asked me this, every single time I get flustered, and I'm like, um, uh, like, what do I say to that? No, you're right. You're right, person. I cannot come out of school and be a historian. I'm sorry. That is not a job. Um, it is, but it's like one person can be that in the whole country. Like, you can be a researcher. You can go back to school and become a teacher, which I don't want to do, which everybody thinks I'm going to do. It's another thing that bothers me. They're like, oh, you can be a teacher. Like, really condescending as well because any like, they make it sound like a teacher is a stupid job and like a woman's job and I'm like just leave um 
You can also become a professor if you go back to school. Um, you can work for the government. Literally, you, you just need a degree. It doesn't matter what you get it in as long as you have that university degree. History is a very, very hard degree coming from someone who got one. Um, it is not easy. It involves a lot of research. I'm, I'm getting too upset about this, but I'm going to still rant. So bear with me. Um, uh, it involves a lot of research. So I now know how to research like insane. I know all of the tools, the websites, um, what exactly I'm looking for, how to analyze a document. So I get the best information that I can from the minimal amount of time doing it. The amount of times I didn't read an entire source, but was able to pull quotes from that source and write a paper was a lot. <laughs> it took a lot of time and effort, but I learned those skills and I learned a lot of skills, but I'm not going to sit there and try to justify my degree to people. And I, it makes me sad more than anything because it, 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 it's like they're trying to undervalue my degree. And I don't like that people do that. It's like, I got a degree. <laughs> doesn't matter what I got it in. Um, I chose history because it was my passion. It is something that I love. It was a class that I took. And, and honestly, I said this, and I kid you not, nice girl. I'm, I'm really I'm really selling this part about her being a nice girl. But she just giggled at me about it being like a class. I took one class and I fell in love with it. And she giggled at me. And I want to say she laughed at me because that makes it sound like, ha ha, you're a loser. But like the giggle was definitely a condescending giggle. Um, but it's, it's true. I enjoy history. It is something that I love to learn. Um, I can't, I can't justify why I shouldn't have to justify why I did it. Um, I did it because I like it. No, you're right. I'm not like an electrician or a carpenter or a, a doctor or a vet who comes out with, with jobs lining up the door for them. No, it doesn't work like that for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a lot more trouble now trying to find a job but I tell you if I went to school to become a doctor I wouldn't be a doctor because I'm not I'm not passionate about it you should all let me give you a little bit of advice when you're picking schools to go to or when you're picking picking majors not even schools to go to I don't care what school you go to go to one that you you think is best um don't go to one because it's a party school because you're gonna leave that in no time but anyway when you're picking a major or even a minor do not pick something in which you think one you're gonna make the most money out of um but not enjoy two don't pick something because someone forces you to do it because you're gonna hate your life that way if i had gone to school and done a science degree or became a doctor or even a vet was something i was possibly considering but i love because i love animals um but i don't like the medicine i don't like the i can't i can't put it into my brain that's not how my brain works I'm much happier being an art student than I am. And by arts, I don't mean like drawing. I suck at drawing, but like a bachelor of arts. It's like English or crim. Thought about getting my crim degree, but it just, it didn't, I don't know. It was definitely a toss up between history and crim because, you know, if I had gone with crim, I wouldn't get the, uh, oh, what are you going to do with that? Um, But pick something that you're passionate about and worry about the rest later because I promise you, you will love school so much more if you go for what you love. And I'm not knocking the people that are becoming a doctor because if that's what you're passionate about, girl, I hope you save lots of lives. Or boy, I hope you save all the lives in the world. Um, I commend you on being able to do it. Um, I can't. I think it's insane that people can study that much. I watch, trust me, I watch all the YouTube videos about those med students who, it's a huge thing on YouTube. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Uh, it's uh, a huge community and they all talk about like, this is what I do in this rotation and I'm fascinated by it. I'm a huge fan of Grey's Anatomy, it's my, but it's not my passion in life. Um, if I could do, like if I could do research as a job, I would. Um, I can't be a librarian because you have to have a library degree. It's an actual degree. Um, and it's, that's not exactly my passion, but anyway, that was something that bothered me today. So fun, fun times. Don't, don't let anybody try and tell you what to do with your life and don't, do not let people condescend your degree or the choices that you have made in life. If you were happy with them, then be happy with them. I was happy with my choice. I loved every minute of getting my degree and I would love to go back. 
um, if the finances become available, I will. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay updated on all this nonsense and ranting and raving and angry Janelle, then hit that subscribe button. And I'm sure you'll get uh, an earful on Monday because that's a big speed build. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I already said that, but I will see you all in my next video. So have a great weekend. Bye, guys.